Hi, my name's Andrew. And this is Brian. And I'm Kath. Welcome, Welcome to, to ABC Paddlers. We're using Nicholson Guide number five and what three words as usual. On this adventure, we're travelling up through Figure of Three Locks, Millbank Lock, Thornhills Lock, and into Dewsbury. We're parking at the rear of the Bingley Arms at Hallbury Bridge. There's just enough parking for two cars. Just setting out on our fourth adventure from Hallbury Bridge, basically up as far as we can get. We just uh, launched from underneath Horbury Bridge, uh, which was where we uh, turned around on our second adventure. Uh, this part of it now goes up to Thornhills Lock. Uh, we'll just see how far we can get, uh, see what the portages are like. Uh, it started off drizzling this morning, but tonight, today uh, it looks like it could be clearing up to be um, a fine day. There he goes. Well, that was quite exciting. Um, and we didn't film it because it was really the most unelegant way of getting out of the water, but we've manhandled Brian out. It's about a three foot drop. It's not easy to get out, but we did it. We've now got to Portage Brian past the um, locks here, as you can see ahead of us. Kath scouted ahead and uh, it looks like we can get back onto the water the other side of the locks. Uh, so uh, we'll join you back in a bit. The other side of uh, the figure of three locks uh, is where we are now and uh, you can see just through there is where we access the water. It's not such a deep drop, it's probably two foot maybe uh, and you've got the, um, uh, the lock uh, boardings that you can hold on to. Uh, so now we're heading, um, we're continuing to heading up the uh, Cauldron Hevel navigation up towards um, Thornhills Lock and we'll see what happens when we get there. So this is Millbank Lock. I called it Thornhills Lock earlier on but it isn't. This is Millbank Lock. Thornhill Lock is the next one up. Uh, we looked at uh, portaging just down here where these pollards are but that was a little bit too high off the water for us so uh, we paddled another sort of hundred yards back where the bank uh, gets closer to the water and we portaged Brian out there. It was a little tricky getting him around these um, railings uh, because of the length of Brian and we had to be careful we didn't uh, drop off the edge. But we've managed that and we're now um, just had a cup of coffee. Brian's there patiently waiting to get back onto the water and I think we can get back onto the water just over there where Kath is right now. The next stop then is Thornhills Lock and uh, I think probably on this trip We'll take the Dewsbury arm and just uh, pop ourselves up into Dewsbury.
So we've now arrived at Thornhill's Double Lock. Um, there's a board there saying so. Um, we're now going to take the Dewsbury Arm, uh, which means we don't have to portage. But if we did want to portage to go round the Double Lock up to Greenwood, uh, there's easy portage from this side. Uh, and we'll probably do that once we've just gone up the Dewsbury Arm for a little way. Oh, there's a little squirrel running across the bridge. So we're just at uh, Thorn's Double Lock here, uh, just about to go up the Dewsbury Arm, and we've just met Becky and Ruth. Hello. Hi. Who are doing the... Calder Canoe Trail. The Calder so Canoe Trail, yeah. We started in Sowerby Bridge, and we're going to Wakefield in sections, short sections. Brilliant. And wh where does that end? It ends in Wakefield as well, so yeah. Right, so and you started at Salvi Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And how long has it taken you in, in total? Uh, we've done it over three days so yeah. far. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. But like some days, like one one stretch we did after work, so it was only a few hours, and then one time we looked, like, went all day. We were just taking it very chill and yeah. 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 enjoying it. And that's what paddling should be, isn't it? Exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but we're not really into the white water stuff. You know, know, we're not. We're not. <laughs> that's more for you. Oh, is it? Uh, you, you're into <laughs> yeah. the. I like to get into it. Do you? Yeah. No, we're. Uh, I think probably it's an age thing with us. We just, we, we, we just, we're just happy to, to paddle on a nice day. Um, excellent. Thank you very much, and you all the best. So that's Thorn Hills Double Lock going up that way towards um, Greenwood Lock, etc., etc. We're heading down the Dewsbury Arm this way. Um, and according to uh, Becky and Ruth, it's not a long stretch, so we'll see how far we get and um, we'll be back soon. You can see lots of houseboats moored up along here um, at this end of the Dewsbury Arm. Uh, you could, there's plenty of parking there, so you could park your car, access the water through one of the many uh, mooring points here. And just behind me here is the Leggers Inn. Uh, which is closed today, but um, would be a fantastic spot to grab a pint or a coffee. Uh, we've also unloaded all of the um, waste material that we've picked up on our journey uh, up the Calder and Hebel navigation so far, and we've uh, deposited it in one of the bins here. Uh, and we're now heading back down towards Thornhill Lock, and we'll decide what we're going to do when we get there. So we're just outside the figure of three locks on our journey back to Horbury Bridge. Um, we've just stopped to uh, partake of some homegrown tomatoes and a little bit of um, wine because this is the most challenging um, portage that we've come across so far with the drop to the water being about three feet, something like that. Um, we managed seems to, challenging. With a glass of wine we might uh, find it uh, more enjoyable. Um, it would certainly be funny. Uh, we, uh, we managed to get out all right but getting back in could be a different matter. Uh, as a point of interest, um, Horbury Bridge was where Onward Christian Soldiers was first composed and first sung uh, and it was the Reverend S. Baring Gould. Yes, yes, everybody knows it, Kath, everybody knows it. Um, and it was basically a marching song that he composed for children in, what, so, so we read, in about 15 minutes for the children that were in Horbury Bridge going to the church in Horbury. Uh, so that's why he composed it, and of course now it's, it's a well-known national hymn. So there you go. Uh, you learn something new every day, don't you? Horbury Bridge, home of onward Christian soldiers. Right, cheers and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, we've just finished adventure number four which has taken us from Horbury Bridge up to, uh, well we took the Dewsbury Arm up into Dewsbury. Lovely paddle, started off in the wet but it's now turned out into a, a lovely uh, September afternoon. So until the next time uh, in adventure number five, keep, keep paddling! paddling.